Hi, I'm Andrew, the founder of AeroGrow. First, I'd like to thank you for purchasing the 5-in-1 meter from AeroGrow. This great convenient little meter is very easy to use, but if it's your first time using a pH meter or TDS meter, it can be a bit confusing knowing how to get started. So today I'd like to go over a few suggestions on how to properly use and care for your new 5-in-1 meter. Let's get started. So let's go through some of the operating modes for your new meter. When you first turn on your meter, you'll notice that you're in whatever mode you were in the last time you turned off the meter. In this case, we're in TDS mode, and I know that because of the PPM that I see displayed on the display. Okay, so if we hit mode again, now we can see that salt is displayed in the display. This is measuring the salt parts per million content of the tested solution. Hit it again. Now we're in salt percentage, and you can see the small percentage sign in the display. That will give you an exact to the thousandths measurement of the salt content of the tested solution. Hit the mode button again, places you in pH mode. Notice the numbers are drifting. That's completely normal behavior for these types of meters. After about five seconds in the tested solution, what you want to do is hit the hold button. The hold button, after about five seconds of testing, will freeze the display and will provide you with your reading. Now notice that once I hit the hold button, there's a small H displayed in the top left of the display. That's to let you know that the hold is on. To release the hold, simply press the hold button again, and it will release and the numerical drift will resume. Pressing the mode button one more time brings us into electrical conductivity mode. That's indicated by micro siemens per centimeter, which is displayed in the top left of the display. Hitting the mode button again places us back into normal TDS mode, registering with parts per million on the display. To turn off the meter, simply press the power button once. That's it. Before we dip the meter, I just want to show you one thing. On the bottom of the meter are all of the sensors that are used by the meter. So when you dip the probe, you really only need to dip the probe about halfway. That's more than enough to cover all of those sensors. All right, so we're going to test TDS first. And we can see that the parts per million is displayed on the display. So then we just dip the meter again about halfway. Then after a few moments, we have our reading, 73 parts per million. And now we'll test the pH. Just use the mode button to switch to pH and take the sample. Then after a few moments, just press the hold button with your thumb and that's your reading, 6.96, perfect. You'll notice that the temperature at the probe is always displayed on screen. To switch the temperature scale from Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit, press and hold the hold temp button for two seconds, then release. To switch it back, do the same thing. Press and hold for two seconds, then release. It's as simple as that. Remember that whenever you're finished using your meter for the day, go ahead and swish it around in some distilled water, shake it off a little bit, and then replace the cap. That'll help protect the meter, keep it clean, and prevent cross-contamination. Replacing the batteries in your 5-in-1 is quite simple. Simply remove the top cap, and you'll notice that inside there are three LR44 batteries. These batteries are very easily found at local grocery stores and electronic stores, but if you don't find them locally, you can always find them on Amazon. Now the LR44 batteries do go by quite a few other names, which I'm showing on screen here. So feel free to purchase any of those batteries. They will all fit your five in one meter. So then to remove them, simply use your, either your fingernail or a small screwdriver of some sort. Just pry them out gently and then replace. Pay attention to the polarity of the batteries, making sure they all go in one direction. Also, inside of the meter, you'll notice that there's a small plus sign and a small minus sign to tell you which way the batteries should go. Place them in the unit, replace the cap, and test the meter. They should be fine, but if they're not, simply remove the cap, 
switch the batteries in the other direction and try it again. That's it. Hopefully this short video was enough to get you up and running with your new 5-in-1 meter. But should you have any difficulties, please don't hesitate to reach out through the contact page on the AeroGrow website. I even include my phone number and it'll make this phone right here ring. So until I see you again, thanks so much for your time and thank you for choosing AeroGrow.